Rizy's TikTok account sparks controversy. After a comment on an account that mimics Blackpink's Rose. The comment made by Rizy's TikTok account, actively managed by both members and company staff, garnered significant attention from Blackpink fans. This arose after Rize left a comment on a TikTok video by at MoH. And, who was imitating Rose singing Rizy's songs, which some fans of Rose found objectionable. The comment, Oh thank you son Benham, sparked controversy among the fanbase. Other netizens commented, Rose's international fans always report this guy for making Rose a target of mockery. It's more upsetting because Rizy's official account left a comment. I don't know who's managing it, but they need to be careful. I looked into it carefully. That guy has been uploading videos imitating Rose in that way for several years. People who criticize Rose or other fandoms and haters use his videos to mock Rose. As that guy mocks Rose's singing and ridicules her in his videos. Fans had no choice but to report him. Now, a male idol account added fuel to the fire by commenting. Thank you son Benham, this situation is complicated because. Despite the imitation being seen as a joke. Antis frequently use that person's videos to denigrate Rose. The guy who posted the video claims to be a fan of Rose. But he keeps uploading videos where his favorite singer is mocked or belittled. Which is problematic. I really don't understand why that boy group's account would do something like this. It would make sense if that person did an exact imitation. But is it appropriate for an official account to simply thank someone for singing their song? With a comment like oh thank you son Benham, is that all there is to it? That guy is so infamous among K-pop fans because it's a fact. That he makes Rose fans angry. And Rizy's TikTok account manager needs to be careful and think more carefully. Before leaving comments. Yuna criticized for going public with her relationship. Without notifying her agency. Yuna posted a photo and revealed that she is in a relationship. With Young Jin Hyung, Jin Hyung also shared the same photo on his Instagram on the same day. As much as this was a surprise announcement, many articles were released late at night in South Korea as soon as Hyuna made her post. K-pop fans extended congratulations to the idol on her new relationship, but some netizens raised eyebrows at the timing of her announcement, critiquing her for revealing her dating news without giving a heads up to her agency. The notable difference in this situation was the overwhelming support for Huna. Coupled with criticism directed at Cube Entertainment for their perceived shortcomings in artist management, numerous voices rallied behind Huna, arguing that her public disclosure of her relationship with Dawn was a necessary step, given Cube's alleged mishandling of artist affairs. One netizen explained, Huna when she revealed her dating news without notifying her agency, and the relationship between her and the agency went bad, but at the time, Cube wasn't doing a good job either so people were supporting Huna. They continued. Once again she announced her dating news at midnight without notifying her agency, lol. People are saying please consult with the agency first before doing something like this. And should think about the employees who had to answer their phones late at night. Other netizens commented. I really feel bad for the employees who are working until 12 a.m. I would be so annoyed if I was a staff. I only feel bad for the employees who had to handle this situation in the middle of the night. The slight good image I had for her is gone now. That was the few moments when I felt bad for Cube, lol. The employees are the ones with the short end of the stick. Yuna's image is getting worse after this dating news, and the stress they must feel. American brand Alo Yoga experiences a massive global Google search surge thanks to the impact of Blackpink's Jisoo. Alo Yoga, an American athletic apparel brand, recently launched their Spring 2024 collection featuring Kim Jisoo as their new brand ambassador. The announcement, along with striking pictorials of the beautiful Jisoo, caused an overwhelming surge in online traffic as soon as the Jisoo endorsed collection went live. The brand's website experienced technical difficulties due to the high demand. By the time the website issues were resolved, all items had sold out, much to the disappointment of many fans. The Spring 2024 collection, with prices ranging from $24 to $348, 
offered a variety of styles suitable for fashionable winter running, cozy loungewear, and trendy everyday wear. Highlights included the airlift high-waisted leggings, in a new berry shade, a winter-ready puffer jacket, and even a chic puffer miniskirt. The campaign and collection emphasized comfort, catering to a range of style preferences. Chinese Key admits to worrying about his self-efficacy as he gets older. On the third installment of Girls' Day member, actress Hyuri's YouTube channel, Hyuri's Club, Chinese Key appeared as the show's first male guest. Hyuri and Key had previously showcased their sibling chemistry while working together on the show. Amazing Saturday, Dorami Market. While chatting over cocktails, Hyuri asked Key, do you have anything that scares you or makes you anxious? Q replied, I do. I'm terrified of losing my sense of self-efficacy. I'm afraid that I'll feel like I've become useless. And it's scary to think that the moment might come when I ask myself, am I worthless? It's okay to become less relevant, that happens. But while not everyone has to live like they're in their 20s. But I think you should have a purpose. I'm approaching the age where I have to worry about that. I'm already 34 years old. He added, in our line of work, it seems like the results should be good and we have to prove ourselves. Otherwise, people will say we've failed. If there's at least one person who supports you, then you can do it. But as you grow older, the fear of losing self-efficacy is quite daunting. It's scary to think that while living as a human, you may lose your self-efficacy. As you get older, you might have no friends, no loved ones. And that's a scary thought. Actor Lee sang yup opens up about fiancé and wedding plans. On the January 19th episode of Fun Story, Lee sang yup prepared a party for his best friends before his wedding in March. On his wedding plans, the actor expressed, It's going okay. My fiancé is very thorough. I'm thankful yet I feel kind of apologetic because it feels like only she's working on the wedding. Even if I'm by her side, I'm not that much help. When asked if it's a shotgun wedding, Lee Sang-yup clarified, We're really not pregnant. As for what attracted him to his fiancé, he shared, If I were to sum it up, she just really sees me. She looks at me intently and only me. Come to think of it now. I think I felt comfortable with her because we were thinking the same. Lee sang yup also added on his wife Tube's cooking skills. She's good. At first, I ate what she cooked every day, but I cooked for her every now and then. I was excited because she liked it. 